and welcome to Kara Brandon Creations and week five of Flamingo Fridays. Those are the pages I'm using today, my collage sheet and Julie's large tags. Along with the make today, I will also have my flip through of my journal I made that coordinated with this challenge using tropical vibes. <laughs> I don't remember which kid it was. <laughs> so uh, I hope you join me for both items, the project and the flip through. All right, so recently I have been watching Junk Journal Addict and I'll link her channel below. She has been doing a challenge for herself and it's a hundred makes using the Tim Holtz chapter three release. And I have just been loving all of her projects. And so that is what inspired me for today's make. I am taking my collage sheet and I'm actually gonna make a little mini flip. Some will call it Zines. There's all kinds of different names. Um, elementary teachers use this a lot for different projects at school. That's what it reminds me of. So you'll see here that I'm fold I folded it over hot dog and then I'm going to fold over the two sides towards the middle. And when I fold it, I want to make sure that there's enough space so that my pages will um, fold. So you'll see me kind of fiddling with it. Um, it would have probably worked if I had a scoreboard, but I was nervous because my glue was still a little damp, so I didn't want to rip anything. So I'm kind of adjusting how I have it folded. And then see how I'm leaving a little bit of a gap so that there we go. So then I can fold it over like that. Now this does make one side upside down. Uh, but because it's a collage sheet, I don't think you can really tell that much. There's one page that I do uh, add a few things to, and so you can't tell once those things are covered. So here it is unfolded, and I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges. And this kind of gave dimension of where all the different pages will be. In Junk Journal Addict's video, she made actual individual cards for each of the pages and then added it to one of Tim Holtz's, um, what is it called? Collage sheets, like the tissue paper collage sheet. So that's also an idea. Once I am done with my inking, I took it to my sewing machine and you'll see I did stitching all the way around the outside along with the pieces in the middle. So then I set that aside and I got out my embossing and I have some new embossing colors from the Distress line and I thought it would be fun to use the Dollar Tree stamp that I have that went with the theme and then these fun colors. So this one is Twisted Citron. Such a fun bright green would also be fun for Halloween makes. And then I just stamped several of the images and then did some heat embossing. This one just looks really cool. That one, that one turned out really well. So you'll see I used some of the ducks and a palm tree and the watermelon in here. I wanted to show you the embossing, but it was focusing on the wrong part of the, <laughs> the image. So here they are finished. And then I thought, oh, let's pull out the Distress ink get um, a water brush and I took the same colors that the inks were or sorry the embossing powders were and I just painted them I am not much of a colorist so I just kind of did a basic just kind of wash over the different pieces and I think it kind of helped bring them out and it's kind of nice because you're painting in the lines of the raised embossing <laughs> so this is my kind of coloring <laughs> and then I did the watermelons so the watermelon slices and then for I think you can see in the palm tree above I did bring out um, some vintage photo just for this the, the tree what what's the word <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say branch trunk <laughs> The tree trunk of the palm palm tree. <laughs> Words are hard. And then I added some green to the watermelon slices. I think they look pretty cute. 
time to make cute, quick little embellishments. You can't tell on camera, but there really is some green there. <laughs> All right, once I have that put away, then I'm starting to decorate my little mini book design, whatever we want to call it. And I thought I would use the duckies with the word summer. And I just started gluing embellishments from both my um, ephemera and Julie's ephemera. I thought about fussy cutting out all of the individual letters for summer and then I thought better of it. I'm like, no, I think it will look just fine. All right, so then I continue to add some ephemera to the different parts of the flip. And for this, I sped this up for you. Uh, the gal that I just covered with the flowers she is from the Tropical Vibes kit, and I just love the 1950s girls. They're so fun. And then that flower is from Julie's kit. It was really fun to just kind of sit. I had Netflix on and my fussy cuts, and I just sat there, and I just kind of had fun crafting. It was, it was really nice. It was fun. And then the blue is are some scraps that I had from the live. Um, I was showing the smushing, <laughs> the Tim Holtz smushing technique. And so I didn't throw those away. I kept them and I used them quite a bit. I used them in this project and then also the one that you'll see here in a second that I used uh, Julie's large tags. So that was really fun. All right, so now we're gonna turn it into the design. I'm taking my paper cutter and I'm going in between the two uh, folds inside of, you know, like if you fold it what's that? like that <laughs> and then just to the two edges so that it will fold like this. And then you can kind of decide what you want as your front cover and your back cover. So I'm kind of playing with it to see what I wanted to go to the front. And I thought that the girl <laughs> was perfect for the cover. So now I'm just kind of lining it up and then I'm going to fold it over. You'll see that I switch it in a second so that she's the front cover. Plus, I think it lays differently um, the way that I end up with it. Yeah, so here's where I kind of mess with it and then I think, oh, I want her as the front. And then I thought, all right, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and sew down there and then also close up some of the sides. So here she is in the front. And now I will have a top pocket, two top pockets, and one side pocket. And I'm covering up the upside down flamingo with some ephemera. See how he's upside down? <laughs> so the rest I think was fine, but I covered up that guy who was standing on his head. And now he's all better. And then I made some little tags for the side pockets and for the two top pockets. Such a fun little project. And then you'll see I added some fabric that matched perfectly to the top of the tags and of course did some stitching. And there it is. So fun. And there's that um, distress <laughs> smushing technique paper <laughs> that I like, or added to the back. And there we go. So that's the first little project. And then I get out Julie's large tags. Oh, sorry. Yes, I needed a closure so that it would stay. So I'm just going to rip some fabric and then use that as a tie for the closure. And I think it works just fine. Super cute. That fabric just was perfect. And I just recently found it at a... Um, at an estate sale, so I just it was random and perfect. I love when that happens. 
All right, so here we go with the two large tags. And I'm going to cover it with some of that um, deli paper to back it, the coffee stain deli paper. I've sped this up for you. So it's basically the same thing I did with the other sheet, and then I'm going to trim off the excess. And for this, I thought I'd make a little ephemera holder, tag holder. And again, there's my smushing technique paper. And I'm going to cut these down, and then these are going to become the pockets. And I'm going to sew around them. So I did some messy, messy stitching. I'm going to glue those on. And they are the pockets. I think it worked perfectly. And they're the perfect colors uh, to match the Julie page. And then I'm going to embellish them with some of the different pieces. This is from Julie's kit, and I think it was perfect. Again, similar colors. And then she had these fun little like book page quotes. And so I kind of layered those up and I thought they looked cute. There's more of the blue. <laughs> Just for a pop of color. And of course, where the flamingo to have some water to stand in. Just made little clusters. And then a little fabric to the front. And then I make a little, like a little tab. And a label. So there's the front, and there it is with the fun little cards on the inside. All right, so let's take a look at the completed Flamingo Friday journal. Originally, I was going to do a traditional spine on the journal, and then I watched Tracy Fox's uh, spiral bound journals, and I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't made one of those in a really long time. So I pulled out my cinch and decided to go that route, and I really like how it turned out. So I used a Reader's Digest book, and I made a tassel just with some embroidery thread and some wooden beads and some plastic beads. This might be glass, but anyway, just some beads that I had in my stash. And then I made two little pockets on the front. There's this pocket and this other pocket. So I could stick little things in there and some bling and this says the little things. And in this pocket, I took the, um, I think it's a cupcake topper that I found and thought it would be really cute on the tag. And then this little thing is kind of hiding his, the bottom of his feet. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of fun and different. And then I have a flamingo stir in the other pocket. And I'll take this off. So this is just attached with a little clip so that can come off easily. And I have eyelet, um, an eyelet closure. And then the back is just plain. And I love this front cover just with the, the Reader's Digest pages. And then I used my Tropical Vibes journal kit along with the Flamingo Friday collaboration kit. I had some scrapbook paper that just was perfect with the bathing suits. So then I made a little tuck spot. These were part of the five days kit. I just made a simple tag. And then this is also an itty bitty tag. That was from one of the days. And then in my stash, I found these really cool leaves. These are Prima. They're quite a few years old, but I just thought, oh my gosh, they were perfect. So I put these throughout the kit. <laughs> Here's some of my, uh, my inking that I did during a live. 
a little cluster. There's a corner tuck from the kit. And that flips over. And then I made a little pocket. And there's some tags in there. And then I did a little embellishment here. And then my favorite page with the girls flips out. And this is a great spot for journaling. Another one of, oh, and this isn't, this isn't a prima leaf. This is actually a Dollar Tree leaf. And it has this really cool texture to it. It was also perfect. And then here's another scrapbook page. And this, I made a little tab and that flips out. And then this is a tag from ages ago <laughs> that I made and I thought it went well. So I tucked it in. And here's another tag from one of the days. Little tag there. And then on the back, I made a belly band with um, some ephemera that I had in my stash and just added one of these little cards. Here, I added another tag from sometime in the past. <laughs> Did some stamping. I think it looks really fun. Um, it looks like pattern paper. And then I actually put in one of the tags into the rings. And then these are rub-ons and a little sticker, or not a sticker, ephemera. Added the pom-pom tassels. This is another Dollar Tree sticker. Isn't that cute? It's just perfect and lots of room for journaling and embellishing. Another Prima leaf. And then here, one of the um, kind of vintage, well, it pretty much is vintage, <laughs> um, uh, postcards. And I put a little pineapple there and then this flips out and has a little tuck spot and another Dollar Tree leaf. And then here's a little tuck spot and I just added some lace. And I love the little pom-pom sticking out on the side. And here is another one of the days where I made this piece of ephemera and in here there's a tag that comes out. This is made out of a window envelope. Some vellum that I stamped. Another tag. Made this in one of the days. And that goes right there. And then this pineapple is actually meant for um, like table, table names for a party. And I just turned it into a little tuck spot. Another piece of scrapbook paper, another tag, and I added some Vicki Booten stickers to it. And then another corner tuck, made that in one of the days, stamping on the vellum. This, I did the same thing, this was a cupcake topper and I used it as a little flip. Another Prima leaf. Ah, this would be perfect for a picture, I just added the peacock. No, not a peacock, that's a parrot. Oh, and then some tags, and then did a little layering for that one. On the back I had these, um, oh, they're from a notepad, and I just turned it into a little tuck spot. Vellum. There's some green little tassels. And then here's another tuck. And then I found this in my um, stash. Thought it was perfect. And another one of those vintage postcards. And there's another one and I just clipped it up to the top. There's some more page, um, book pages. And then here, this is from Dollar Tree. And I just added it and put a rub on. And then this is from today's uh, Friday Flamingos. And then in here I just put some bits and pieces that are left over and some of those extra leaves. And that is that. But look how cute the side looks with all the, the little, um, what is it called? All the little trims. Pretty cute. All right, so that is my completed Tropical Vibes journal. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.